Is it possible to rescue a vinyl record jacket that's completely muffed up with X library stickers and an old fashioned card pocket? Is it possible to resurrect it, remove the stickers and make it look nice and clean and shiny new? We're gonna find out. That's coming up next. Hello vinyl community, music lovers, and anyone else who just happened to stumble upon this video. Welcome to Tone and Grooves. My name is Jeff, and uh, today I'm going to try to rescue a, a vinyl record jacket. Um, in the last video that I uploaded to YouTube uh, was a vinyl find slash review. Um, it was an unboxing video. Stevie Ray Vinyl, the Discog seller, and I had a number of records in there that I that I showed. Um, and one of those was an ex library record that I was very a little bit disappointed in, um, and uh, that had all kinds of pocket, you know, the card pocket and whatnot. In fact, I'm gonna show a little bit of a clip from that um, just to uh, bring that up to speed, so those of you who didn't see that can see what I'm what what we're dealing with. What is this? <laughs> have um, some classical. This is early um, Renaissance um, music. Heinrich Isaac. So this is a mass. Um, and ma a, a mass and some motets. And it was described as near mint the vinyl. The record or the jacket, <laughs> as you can see, is a former library copy. I don't remember this being described as a former library copy with a pocket and stickers all over the front of it. Um, I do not remember that being mentioned at all. Okay, so you can see in that um, the you know all the the stickers, the card pocket, um, whatnot. Um, I got to give some credit to Stevie Ray Vinyl because I did reach out to them and message them and just said, you know, hey, just want to call your attention to the fact that, you know, one, the, that one record that you sent was an ex-library copy with, you know, excessive stickers and it did have the card pocket on it and none of that was mentioned in the, you know, specifically um, in the description. So, you know, just said I was, um, was disappointed with that one. Um, you know, let me know what your return policy is, you know, what my options are for, you know, return or an exchange. And uh, they messaged back within, I mean, it wasn't right away, but it was less than 24 hours and just said, we refunded your money for that one record. So, I mean, I gotta give them credit. I mean, that's not what I was wanting. You know, I feel, I feel a little bit guilty for that. I, I didn't, I wasn't seeking a, a handout, so to speak, you know, uh, you know, just, I wasn't looking for a free record. Um, that's not what I was, was not my intention. Um, but anyway, but I felt like that it was certainly very fair. So now I figure it. Now it's a free record. So let's go ahead and see, do an experiment, and see if we can clean up that jacket and remove the stickers and whatnot. Um, just, just so you know, those of you who care about these things, music in the background, or some CDs that I picked up at um, one of our local thrift shops just last night. There's some Candy Dolfer that I picked up for two dollars. That's playing in the background. It's on random play. So these three CDs are just on random play. Little Virgil Fox, the Living Stereo RCA, this is Virgil Fox Encores. Uh, that CD may pop up as we're, I think it's on right now actually, <laughs> as we're talking. Um, and Tanya Tucker, uh, pretty recent, two, uh, 2009 uh, Tanya Tucker record called My Turn. 
So that's in the CD changer as well. So that's the music on in the background, randomly playing throughout our time together. So anyway, um, I've uh, done some research online, looked into how to remove stickers and uh, goop and gunk and whatnot from record jackets. I got a lot of great information off of a site called LP Cover Lover. LP Cover Lover. If you're not familiar with that website, check it out. Um, really cool website. Almost daily, not quite daily sometimes, but almost daily they post um, photographs of record jackets and uh, you can vote on them and you know, it's just kind of a fun website for cover art. So anyway, they, um, I got some, some hints there as well as on various other places on the internet. Um, they talk about using lighter fluid. So I got for a dollar ninety-five at Walmart. I got a little a bottle of Zippo lighter fluid. They talk about using lighter fluid to remove stickers and whatnot. Um, I also got some Goo Gone, um, which I read online. It, you know, works, but it sometimes stains. So maybe not the you know the best or the first choice. Um, but honestly, um, what I have found in my own personal experience. And I don't remember where online I saw this, but I got the tip somewhere online. Oftentimes the best way to remove stickers from vinyl records, hair dryer. Blow some hot air on it and it will oftentimes loosen them up and they'll peel right off. So we're going to try a combination of these techniques, hair dryer, <laughs> lighter fluid, goo gone. Um, also have a, this is not the best tool for this because it is, I mean, it's, you know, a, uh, what do you call this, a little scraper or whatever. Um, it's really sharp, so not the, you know, on the, especially on the corners, so not probably not the best thing. There are actually specialized tools that like uh, book binders use to do that, which I would probably, I mean, it would be better, but the, you know, we'll try that. Um, as well as just some, you know, um, manpower, muscle power, fingernails and whatnot, so. We're going to try all that, see if we can resurrect that album jacket and, and see what happens to it. And you guys can watch along and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to start on the back first with this little sticker here. And I'm going to start with the hair dryer and see what we can do with that. Um, see what we can do with that first, see what happens here. So I'm going to use the hot setting and on high. Just to peel a little bit at a time. It's hot on the fingers, so <laughs> if you use this, be careful. It is starting to come up, so just gotta be be patient. Shoot the hot air up underneath there. As you can see on that on this one here. It is starting to come right off. Come on. Boom. All right. So that one came right off. There's a little bit of, um, the light's kind of bad there, but you can see a little bit of residue there. Um, you know, sometimes it sounds silly, but just a little oil off of your forehead. I just kind of rub my thumb on my forehead and then get a little of my oil in and just rub that on there. And that will take some of that sticker, some of that sticker residue right off. All right. That is, that's great. Fantastic. Get some of that off of there. Okay. Let's tackle the front. The front is the worst part. Um, and some of these, I mean, you can just see the, it's got these huge stickers here. 
I don't know what's gonna happen here, but we're gonna give it a whirl and see what we can do. Um, let's see. Since that first one came off really easy, I'm sure this one's gonna come off as well. So let's start there. Boom, that one came right off as well. Um, that's got a little more stuff on it. I'm gonna try the zip, the uh, lighter fluid on there. Open up these, uh, should open these up earlier. Oh, whatever. Some of these Q-tip things. Squirt a little bit of lighter fluid in there. And I'm just gonna that little kind of wet there. Yep, it's gonna go. Coming right off. Nice. Get this last little bit here. Boom. Little remnants. Use 
the dry side. All right, that's nice and clean. Okay. So what we got left now is we got the this one here in the pocket and then this little weird one here. We're going to give a shot on that. Okay, so as I was monkeying with this here, you can see right here this, this uh, sticker is already starting to come off. So I'm going to shoot that with the heat.
Okay, so now what's left is the pocket. Let's, uh, I'm gonna try to tackle the pocket. I'm gonna start with the hair dryer and let's see what happens with this, with this pocket. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so the pocket came right off, but it left behind a bunch of um, some sticker residue and some of the paper. So. It's still real sticky down here in that corner. Um, all right, so let's use the lighter fluid. I'm, I'm hesitant to use the Goo Gone because I read online that the Goo Gone tends to stain. So I'm gonna, you know what? But with the, since this is so glossy, Let's give it a whirl. Let's try the Goo Gone to see what happens. Oof. It's gonna splash down me. This stuff smells lemony. <laughs> Alright, we'll do the same thing. A little bit in there. Oops, move this out of the way so you guys can see over there. Alright, and then I'm gonna just use... So this is the Goo Gone. Let's see how this works. Move this. Wow, it just soaks right into that. If this was, uh, you know, like a more of a flat jacket without glossy, I don't know that I would, I wouldn't use the Goo Gone on here because I'm a, like I said. I read online that that tends to stain. Let me need to let that sit longer.
All right, well, that worked pretty well. I mean, it did do some damage here. You can see here. That did do some damage. It kind of soaked through to the other side, but um, but this but the pocket came off and all those stickers came off. Um, it's sticky here right now, so I'm gonna work on that with uh, some uh, probably use that lighter fluid again on there and see if I can get some of that stickiness to come off. But other than that. Um, That worked pretty well. Awesome. All right, so overall, I would say that was relatively successful. Here's the record jacket um, now that everything has been removed. Um, you know, first thing I did was the back. That came, that came right off. There's no, I don't feel any residue there. Um, the front also looking pretty good. It got a little mucked up here. Um, mainly because of my my chisel tool or whatever um, that kind of that scraped it you know it was a little too sharp and it actually uh, ripped up, ripped off some of the the glossy stuff on the cover um, so that wasn't the best you know definitely I would say um, probably try a different type of tool to do that scraping um, I was just thinking, you know, maybe even like a like an old credit card or something like that would actually work, you know, something like that. Or heck, you know, every dang store in the world now has these reward member, you know, things. You know, <laughs> my wallet's full of them for Quick Trip and Goodwill and you know, <laughs> I don't know all what now, but so you know, something like that, just a, like a credit card type of of a of a thing would probably work much better. And not damage the record. Um, I ended up did I did get like you know I said before you know earlier on it was still really sticky down here where that security tag was. Um, what I did was I just dipped I dipped my the cat's playing over here. What are you doing, guy? Come on, man. <laughs> um, I dipped my rag into the lighter fluid and then just and rubbed that on there and that that did the trick. It just kind of took that stickiness off of there. Um, which was a good lesson learned because, come on now buddy, <laughs> that was a good lesson learned because I actually have a, a jacket for uh, Cream's Disraeli Gears that um, had some tape on the cover and I took the, I got the tape off with a hair dryer but it still has all that sticky residue. So I think I'm going to try that with the lighter fluid and just kind of get that off. Anyway, so, you know, overall, I'm happy, especially, you know, since it was a free record now. Um, felt you know confident if I mucked it up a little bit, no big deal because it ended up being free, and um, I'm you know I'm I think it was a really good test, and now I know I mean this will work. You can do this. Um, just be a little careful so you don't gouge into it and do you know actual damage to the jacket, but you can get those stickers off and make it make it look nice and cool and shiny clean. So that was a great successful test I would say, and I'm super happy with that record now. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, uh, chime in, you know, share share with me your tips. What works for you? Um, you know, have you tried things like this? Um, what what have you discovered that works for you? Drop some comments below. We would really appreciate that. Let's have a dialogue. That's what I appreciate most about the vinyl community. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Do it if you want to. Don't do it if you don't want to. Um, but appreciate you watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay in the groove.